Uh, but there is another important issue that on Canadian, is on Canadians' minds, particularly Canadians' women's minds, as we meet here. If it were not for global news, we would not have learned that the Conservative leader has been purposefully using his videos to appeal to far-right misogynistic online movements. These are anti-women movements, and they have had devastating real-life consequences. Mr. Speaker, I call on the Conservative leader to stand in this House, take responsibility, and apologize. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. I condemned this organization and I corrected the problem as soon as I, it became known to me, Mr. Speaker. But I condemn, I condemn all forms of misogyny, including when the Prime Minister fired the very first female uh, Indigenous Attorney General. who had to leave politics, and I condemn him for when he dressed up in racist costumes so many times he forgot them all. We condemn it always, Mr. Speaker. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the choice made by the Conservative leader in reaching out to extremist online groups into, uh, you know, pulling in anti-women, misogynistic groups for his own political gain is one that he will have to answer for. I think women across this country want to know uh, why he allowed this to happen and want to see him take responsibility for it. The uh, Honourable Leader of the Opposition. I took responsibility and corrected it as soon as it became known to me. But the Prime Minister does not take responsibility for the extremism that he has funded. He funded a vicious anti-Semite to spread hatred online with tax taxpayers' dollars. He repeatedly, in fact so many times he can't even keep track, dressed up in racist costumes for which he has not ever come fully to account. And he drove many women of his own caucus out of the party and out of Parliament altogether with his mistreatment of them. We condemn all of that behaviour. We condemn misogyny always and everywhere. And we ask the Prime Minister to finally do the same. Mr. Speaker, we have all seen the effective campaign that uh, the Leader of the Opposition ran to become leader, using online videos, uh, using uh, ways of reaching out through social media. We all marveled at his admiration of old wood. What we didn't see was that every time he put out these... Are we done? Prime Minister, from the top, please. Mr. Speaker, a lot of ink was spilled and a lot of admiration for the effectiveness of uh, the Leader of the Opposition's campaign to become leader using social media, losing, using clever videos. We all marveled at his admiration for old wood. But what we didn't see, Mr. Speaker, was uh, his uh, choice to include deliberate reach out, reaches out to far-right organizations, including hateful anti-women organizations, to try and advance his own political gains. He has played too close to the line with extremists for too long. Now he's got caught. Will he admit it? Will he apologize? Will he take responsibility?